Hi guys, it's Joy. And uh, as you know, for the last almost a week, week and a half, I've been covering what's going on between Jeffree Star, Trisha Paytas, Hair by Jay, and Shane Dawson. And as I've gone into this really weird rabbit hole of all of these things, I've discovered quite a bit from Trisha. Now, I wanna let you guys know, um, as long as nothing else comes out, probably the next day or two between today and tomorrow, these will be my last Trisha Paytas videos for a while. Um, I really didn't intend to make any videos on her. I didn't intend to make this many, but if a topic comes up that I find that's interesting, that I think my information can be useful on, I like to always portray that to you guys. Um, so if you guys didn't see, I put up a video yesterday that's gotten us uh, some controversy and that's fine. I kind of knew on some level, like I knew this was going to be an attention getting video and it was the precursor for the videos you're going to see today. And that's what I want to kind of explain to people and let people know. Now, um, when I started going down this rabbit hole, I found it very interesting because we seem to be holding Trisha up on this weird pedestal. Why? I don't really understand it, but it's what people are doing right now. I think it's because she got with H3H3. She's kind of considered a cool kid at the moment. And, uh, you know, I really didn't have a ton of problems with Trisha until I learned not just what she's done to me, but a ton of other people. And it's not that I have some personal vendetta. It's that if I see somebody who is actively out there trying to bully and hurt other people, which she does consistently across the board with her partners, her exes, her friends, she does this stuff routinely, including Ethan and Gila and their family. Um, and then doing it to Shane, you know, I just said, I need to put my foot down and I want to look into this more. And what I found, I want to give everybody a warning because people have said I haven't done this. So, you know, warnings to people who might be triggered by uh, domestic issues. So I want to say that up front if this is something that might bother you. And if you've been through that, my heart goes out to you. Um, so yesterday's video was all about a TikTok that Trisha had done that she has since deleted. It was called the finger challenge or something. Basically you hold up 10 fingers and they list off 10 very toxic and or abusive traits of a relationship. And how many have you done to your partner? Well, out of 10, um, Trisha says her partner Moses had only done one to her. And Moses said she had done eight, including forcing sex. And by definition, forcing sex is the RA P word guys. Literally, I put this in my comment section. That is the definition. And people are saying, well, we don't know that. We don't know that. You know, it could have been, you know, there could, it could have been consent. We could, well, you know what? Here's the thing. That's very, very possible. I don't know. I, when I saw that, I'm not saying it's an admission of guilt or it's an admission of this or that. I am questioning. I am questioning because it concerns me. And there's such a behavior with Trisha and not just um, her and her sexuality, which I'll get into in a minute, and don't get mad at me yet because you don't know what I'm going to say. Um, when it comes to her and her sex drive, maybe I should say, that's a better word. And then the other thing that's concerning to me is the fact that, and I think a lot of people don't know this or it's been glossed over, she has been abusive in her past relationships physically. This is not a joke, and that's why I said trigger warning because we're going to be talking about it. Um, and I want people to be aware. So this video is going to be the precursor to the next one that we're going to go into with that. Be and I want, I'm just saying it up front so you guys are aware. This video though is going to focus and you'll hear it at the end where she's accused of the physical assault. This video today is, uh, this one that you're seeing right now is going to go into the fact that Trisha had spread rumors and gossip about Moses that he was talking and being inappropriate to minors and she lied about it and was called out on air. And this, you see, it's stuff like this where I've been telling you guys, we need not take gossip as facts. It's stuff like knowing she's actually had a history, a documented history of physical assault on her past relationships that I think, why are we taking her word and I guess it is a little frustrating and people can have their thoughts and their opinions, but to see in my comment section, people are more concerned that I am using the R word on something that literally has the definition for it. 
and we are wanting to crucify and hang somebody like Shane Dawson out and quarter him, right? We want to just have the worst for him. But Trisha is getting away with physically assaulting her partners. But yet we talk about her trauma and the comments section. I'll go into this in another video. It's filled with a lot of rape, with a lot of our apologist stuff. So I want you guys to know, you guys who really keep thinking and kind of blindly on some level believing Trisha and what she says. She's a known troll. She admits to being a pathological liar. Dr. Drew has diagnosed her as a narcissist and she admits to lying. And you're going to watch this real time. She literally accuses him of being inappropriate messages with minors. You know, stuff that could like literally destroy somebody's life and gets caught lying. I want you guys to see it. So without further ado, let's go into the clip and then we're going to discuss. Here we go. You know, he he's spoken about you very nicely always, even when you guys had a fight and he's like, I don't know how much I can say of what he told me without pissing you off. Tell me. I can say it? All of it. Okay, good. I give you permission. Well, he just said that, well, first of all, you were accusing him of like fucking, like flirting with minors. Do you no, take that back? No, no, that's, oh my God. Okay, can I just explain I everything? No, let's Hold not, on, let's you not, stop. Let not. me explain what happened. Oh my God. Because the people deserve to know. It. Oh my God. First, you guys were dating, and then you started sending me all these crazy DMs with screenshot being like, your brother in law's fucking crazy, and he's sick, and he's fucking minors. And I was like, I all did, right. I and I was I like, I'll pull out my that. phone and read the DMs. I did not say minors. I can pull out my you phone. You said under age. DMs. No, I can't. You want me to get my phone? Inappropriate age. Very young girls that are like 22. That's what I said. Yeah, pull it out because I even showed him. Inappropriate age for him. He's like, tw like they're like That's not 22. what you were saying. You were saying under 18. I didn't say under 18. There's no way I said that. There is no way. Hang on. Anyways, do we really have to like go? This is so embarrassing. I, I, look, the people deserve to know. By the way, I unfollowed you on Twitter because you kept posting pictures of your vagina. I was like, I can't handle this Did you shit. follow me on TikTok? Yeah, I did. Because Moses asked you? No. Oh, okay. I would follow you on Instagram too. I just can't handle your butthole and vagina on my timeline. It's fucking crazy. Oh, yeah. You were like offended when it was like gaping. I had like a gaping asshole because I had like a butt plug in there and you're like, why is it so big? What? Yeah. Back in May, I remember that. I guess I blocked it out. <laughs> yeah. It's certainly not something I want to be seeing on my timeline. So I hope <sighs> you can understand. Okay. You ready? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> That's not. This is so triggering. Ready? <laughs> I never said underage. I know I didn't. Okay. Ready? Okay. Here we go. Dude, I know we don't talk, but Moses is disgusting. I have no intention of making anything about this, but maybe check him talking to your fans. Fans? This, yeah, I'm getting there. Okay. This is from a fat piece of shit fan of yours who is 23 and he fucked on <gasps> Valentine's Day. Don't say he is all disgusting. Yeah, 23? I said 23. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. First of all, don't read this because... You... You better call all this for real. That is the psycho. Just don't. Well, fuck her then. No. I don't know. But you got baited. And then so, but my point is, but is that. But she's an actual psycho. Okay, fine. Who cares? Fuck house. her. That's well, you have a guard. Security. Yeah, okay, but, but anyway, you were yeah. sending me these DMs and I was like, wow, this shit's crazy. And then I actually started hitting up Moses because I was like, dude, why, I don't want, I can't have you flirting with my fans because you were kind it of. I was a like, fan. Yeah, I was a fan. <laughs> you said there's audio screen recordings. Check the bio. Yeah. And then you're like, check out this exposed channel with 10 followers. I was like, oh, that's you. That's mm -hmm. literally you. <laughs> oh, you think I'm the exposed channel? Yeah. Why would I want to like embarrass myself? No, you were just, it was all about trying to expose Why would Moses. I want to expose him? Because I was like really, truly like in love with him. Why would I try to like kick him? Like, you said he talked so much trash about me and made fun of my body and then used me. He's scary and vile, needs help. Yikes. I was really mad then, <laughs> but that's a different. I didn't answer because I was like, Moses, what is going on? But and then you, you say, responded a month later. You were like trying to charge shit because that was because I May. because you yeah because I didn't want to. This was insane. The but shit then you thought we were fine because we had fathers yeah. and everything, and you're like, well, I because I'm like I have to address the issue that Trisha just. Well, let me finish this. Can we not? Like, you said, just so not. you know, none of this was a troll. I truly thought he liked me, but he played me. He always was bitter. He was never on your. Oh, <gasps> here I won't read this. I won't read that. Yeah, it's fine. Oh my god. Like, all together, please. This is already a point of contention. We're past it. Just stop. Hang on. I literally oh, don't want to have a Here, he, you said he talks to underage girls. No. Right there. He talks to underage girls. Where? where? I, don't, I literally don't see Right it. there. He talks to underage girls. 
confirmed that it says that. Think of what that was. Yes, but but this is a different uh, situation. Say, we're I, talking about no, it's not. Yeah, it's no, the same set water, of messages about his work. Stop! It's because, the same set of messages. Five seven ten thirty. Five seven ten thirty. I'm telling you, this is Tom. To this girl. Is, you said read this part. He said it says this is a he different, talks to underage girls. It's a separate. It's a period. It's in there. not. It's okay. look. It's five seven ten thirty p.m. <laughs> 5, 7, 10, can 30 say, p.m. Can I just say he doesn't talk to anybody now? Not even about his work, not men, not the, women, So nothing. I'm just trying to explain the situation. Oh, my God. Well, you I sa- saved him from further embarrassment. You says he stalks to underage girls. I don't expect a response. And again, I uh, I don't want to talk to you again, but he's just a fraud and he's scary. Okay, can and, we not put this in there? This is going to be so bad. People are like, oh, they're in a toxic relationship. We're in a no, really no, 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 no. I'm No, it's all good. I'm just saying. You're well, painting it like well, I you, said all this Yeah, you things. are. You're crazy. <laughs> I mean, that's everyone knows that. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. You pull this a lot, by the way. You said he's a psychopath. I have 24 hours security now. That's how many? True. How many people are you gonna blame having 24? There's a lot of people. To you're blame. like, man, <laughs> fuck this guy. I've got 24 hours security now. I do have 24 hours security. Fuck Hanny Gabba. I've got 24 hours security. Fuck this stalker. I've got 24 hours security. I did tell them don't let him in. I mean, that was part of it. I mean, there was just a lot because you know. <gasps> wait, can I tell you? This is tea. Or do you want to keep going with it? Because I have actual tea that I wasn't going to say. But the point there. is that I didn't respond. I do want to hear about that. But I was like, the point is that I'm not going to respond. I'm going to talk to Moses first. Because you said he's talking to underage girls and he's talking to your fans. So I was like, so he was like, no, I'm not doing that. Trisha's crazy. I wasn't saying sexually. He didn't say you're crazy. But he's like, I, I didn't do that. She's just mad. And so I responded. I said, hey, these are super serious allegations. I talked to Moses about it. I just want to make sure that I'm responsible with this stuff. Because obviously I don't want, I don't want to not have done my due diligence on this. He says, it's not true. I'm just, I just want to get past this. And then you said, and then you said, oh, it's all good. Actually, what you said is he's disgusting. I was trying again. (laughs) Another girl came out of the woodwork. Okay, 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 stop. Oh my God. (laughs) And then, but anyway, you guys worked it out. Guess what? I have his Instagram password. I'll show you right now. He doesn't DM me. Like he like, and then he said that you were, Ugh, I don't. Because I, we weren't dating, and, and like in his events, like we weren't dating. But then also, he like, said he he said he broke up with you because you started like punching him. Okay, guys, you know how I roll. I've got my notes. Let's dissect this the best we can. <sighs> okay, first of all, didn't you find it interesting that Trisha went on this big thing about how she was bullied recently for her body? I never really shame anybody. I never talk about anybody's weight. Blah 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 blah. And yet to this person that she doesn't like or that has been harassing and stalking her, which if that's the case, you know, I'm not denying that that's an issue, but she actually body shames her for her weight. I just, again, a lot of hypocrisy with Trisha. So when called out, this is what was happening. Trisha said that they weren't minors when this was happening. She says when she and Ethan were exchanging, she said it was young girls, 22, an inappropriate age for him, but not Minors, this is what she was saying. She reiterates, she never said underage, and then said that Ethan reading these messages was triggering. Although she says she's an open book. They're triggering. Well, that would, when she says triggering, that would be like you're gonna trigger, like that to me, that would seem like it's a trigger of, trigger of trauma or mental illness. It's triggering, but she's just getting called out for lying. So how much is she lying about her traumas, triggers, and mental illness? I'm not claiming she is. I'm asking the questions because things aren't adding up. And then she says, um, she says about Moses that she was, so she was writing to Ethan and says, he's disgusting. Um, and she, and that Ethan needs to check him because he's talking to your young fans. And then she says, this is from a fat piece of blank person. Cause you know, she doesn't body shame. She says, um, he's scary, vile and needs help. This is Moses. She says uh, she, there, there's audio and screen recordings of all of this. Okay, kind of like what she said with Shane and we've yet to really see proof. She says it wasn't a troll. And I, she says, I truly thought he liked me. So then here she's saying, look, I'm not trolling when I say this. This is all real. So she makes sure these messages she's sending to Ethan about how horrible his brother-in-law is, that she isn't lying in this. So then she tells him to stop reading the messages. And then Ethan shows her where she says he talks to underage girls. And then he said, he makes Trisha confirm it, which I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad. So in these messages, I'm not trolling, but then she's lying. How do we know when she's lying? So how do we know if a lot of the stuff she said about people like Shane are lies? Did she exaggerate some things, maybe not everything, but some with Jeffrey? I'm not saying she did, but I think it calls into question with everything else we know. 
So it says, um, she finally agrees that she said it, but then she tries to qualify it. And she keeps saying things like, first of all, she says it's about his work. She starts going into that and Ethan keeps cutting her off. And I'm happy because he's not letting her excuse it away. Then she says it's about this girl and then says it's separate with a period, like the grammar in the sentence. Trisha says he talks to no one now and that she saved him from further embarrassment. What does that mean? What does that mean? She saved him from further embarrassment. And did you guys also, I didn't write this down in my notes. Did you also see Ethan call her out? And Ethan said, cause she was like, you know, she referenced a small drama channel who released this. And Ethan said, you admitted that was you. And people for a long time have thought Trisha has done things like she'll put things out on Reddit or she'll do like, it's just when you get to that level of craziness, when it comes to social media and attention, I can't understand that. I just, I don't get it. But then again, I don't even have a Twitter. I don't have anything outside of YouTube at this point for me. So, um, from there, Ethan says, and this is the actual quote from Trisha. He talks to underage girls. I don't expect a response and I don't want to talk to you again about it, but he's a fraud and he's scary. Remember, she said she wasn't lying about all this. Trisha says not to put this in the podcast because it will make her look bad. So, <laughs> Ethan says Trisha's crazy. Ethan says that Trisha says Moses is a psychopath and has 24 hour security because of Moses. And Trisha's just trying to laugh and blow it all off. Trisha again qualifies this and says, she told her security not to let him in. Well, that's not the same thing as saying he's a psychopath and I need more security because of him. Because isn't that what she said by Hair by Jay? And didn't Hair by Jay say I wasn't at her house, but she's like, and again, what Hair by Jay did and said was disgusting. I am not taking that away, but I wonder how much has Trisha lied and fibbed and exaggerated in the things she says, period, about everything. It makes you question. So, um... Moses says, it's not true. And then Trisha says, he's disgusting. Another girl came out of the woodwork. She begins to say that uh, they were and uh, that they were dating. And she says, Ethan says they were dating, but then she began punching him. And then Trisha says, no. So, the accusations against Trisha are right now, especially from Ethan, is that she released a bunch of direct messages. And what this is referring to, guys, just to kind of give you an update, is that apparently he, and I, and I have this on the other videos from yesterday, so go check those out. He was caught, I guess somebody had catfished him, and he ended up exchanging some uh, physical messages, I'll say. And then also he talked about some things with Trisha, like he doesn't like to do intercourse with her because apparently her... Uh, she doesn't have the right hygiene and the right smell for things of that nature, as well as talked about her eating issues and her mental illness issues and vented about how that's difficult for him. Um, I mean, can we blame him? Not to be, I'm not being rude, but can we blame him for that? If that's how he feels. And we have, and I'll, ha and I might have another video about this. I'm kind of tired about talking about this topic, but he has given three different excuses as to what he was actually doing when it came to doing that. Um, which is crazy. First, he says, uh, what was it? Like, he says he didn't think it would make her mad. Um, he said uh, that he was just trying to make her upset by that. And then, well, I was actually just trolling the person because I knew they were a troll. There were like three different answers that were given as to why he did that. Well, Trisha's response is to write Ethan and say he is basically inferring he's being predatory to your young fans to the minors in the audience and saying the most horrific things about him you know trying to create division with ethan and ethan's brother-in-law like gila and ethan were worried about that she was doing things to try to upset and make divisions in their family and here she's doing it and not only that make sure and stay tuned for the next video or whenever it's going to come out because um i'm going to be talking because i know sometimes i don't know when i'm going to put these up but i'm going to be talking about the fact that Moses and Trisha have admitted that Trisha physically assaulted him. And you think it stops with Moses? It doesn't. There are others she's done this to. And I find it really sad that in the comment section, people seem to not take it seriously. I'm seeing a lot of, well, he proposed to her, so it's okay. And they're fine now. And I guess there's nothing wrong. And that uh, it wasn't that big a deal anyway. And I even seen people say, well, 
it's more scary with women when physical things happen with women because a man can overpower a woman. I can agree with that statement, but it doesn't make it okay and it doesn't take away that what she has done isn't okay. And somehow we've swept it under the rug. We've just blindly swept this under the rug. And I don't understand it. I truly don't understand it. I don't know, maybe I'm not gonna get it, but I just find that upsetting. Okay guys, if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up, like the video. Um, and if you like it, make sure and thumbs up because a lot of people aren't happy with the fact that, uh, that some of the things I'm saying about Trisha. I'm just trying to give as much of a even perspective as I can. And these behaviors are concerning. And I think we need to take with a big grain of salt the things that she says. Also, if you're new, subscribe, hit notifications if you like this kind of content and sound off in the comments. Let me know exactly what you think. Um, as long as you're respectful, you're welcome to be here. If you aren't, your comment gets deleted. So you can write it, but it'll get deleted. By the way, I don't have a team. It's me. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't need the negativity. So, uh, but I'm happy to talk to people who are respectful if I have the time. Please share this content with people you think uh, might benefit from this. And guys, I just want to say, um, men can be R-worded and they can be abused too. That happens to men all the time across the board and we shouldn't look down on it or look at it as a joke or not take it seriously just because you like the person who might have done that, especially when they have a history of that type of behavior. So make sure and stay tuned for my next video. And to anybody who is in that situation, please do everything you can if it is in your ability to reach out and get help because you deserve better. And to anybody who's watched this, who's gone through it, I'm very sorry you should not have had to go through that. And hopefully, you know, we'll just continue to try to do what we do and create awareness so that doesn't happen again. Okay, guys, take care. Blessings to the next video. I'm wishing everybody lots of love, lots of kisses, and most importantly, y'all stay safe. I'll see you soon.